Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's 2 Minute Tuesday slash Tuesday tip video uh, I've got another collaboration with the AutoCAD blog. You can check the link in the description to the article that goes along with the video. Uh, in it, we're going to be taking a look at how to quickly and easily search and find layers within your drawing as well as a quick tip on how to keep them organized so in the future you don't need to be searching through a huge list of layers to find the ones that you work on uh, the most uh, or to clean them up by splitting them up into different groups. <laughs> As always, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, aiming for that two minute Tuesday mark. Uh, as you know, I rarely make it to two minutes or less, uh, but I've got a good feeling, so I'm going to throw the timer up anyway, and we'll see where we land. Uh, in this drawing, you can see it's a basic architectural detail drawing. The drawing doesn't really matter as we're just going to be showing the principle and uh, method to searching for layers. Lots of times I still come across people uh, scrolling through the layer list looking for a layer they'd like to draw on or turn on or off. And I always wonder why they're not just using the search function or better organization for their layers in general. So I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, search in the layer manager as well as a trick or two uh, when it comes to finding what you're looking for. To get started, you're going to want to click on the layer properties button up here uh, to bring up your layer manager. That's on the home tab of the ribbon. You can see we've got our layer manager here with our long list of layers. This drawing's not too bad. It's got, it looks like 47 total layers. Uh, I've got drawings with hundreds depending on the uh, disciplines uh, and style of your drawing. Civil uh, 3D drawings in particular have a ton. Uh, but this makes sense for any kind of drawing. Um, so now that you know where to find your layers, you can scroll around uh, looking for them uh, and double clicking or using the buttons up here to make each one current uh, or delete them. When you need to search for a layer though, you're going to go up to this right upper right search uh, input dialog box here. You can see when we click in the uh, search box here, you've got that star or asterisk character. Uh, that represents a wildcard. So when you start typing, uh, we'll just type arch because I know there's a bunch of layers there. You can see that it fills in all of the letters prior to the A. So it, it just shows you every layer that starts with A. If I wanted every layer that started with A R C H underscore S, so you can see it's going to get rid of one there it's going to fill in the rest with this wildcard. So the tip or trick here is to use two wildcards. So you can see in the example, I'm going to type in steel with the wildcard at the end. So there are no steel layers according to this search. But if we add an asterisk and then type steel with an asterisk on either side, you can see now it's brought up every layer with the word steel anywhere in the name rather than just at the start or just at the end if you use the asterisks at the start. Hopefully that makes sense. It can be super useful for huge drawings where you're sorting through a bunch of layers and you only know a couple characters or maybe you roughly know what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for electrical and you just search ELEC for elect and you're hoping to find the electrical layers. Uh, it's just a great way to speed up your search. So once you've found the layers you're looking for, it would be nice if you could group these together and add them to this left filter side so that next time you're searching, so if we get rid of our search, you can just click over here and qu easily find all of the layers that use section in the name or steel or electrical. Depending on the type of work you're doing, uh, you can make your own custom groups. So one quick easy way uh, to do that simply by drag and drop is to click the new group filter button up here or hit alt and G to create a new filter. 
We're going to call this steel. And it's as easy as dragging the layers we'd like into our folder. So I'm going to go back to all the layers using the filter over here. We're going to go into the search and do the double asterisk. We're going to type in steel. And you can see there are four steel layers in this drawing. Now we can simply click and drag them all with them selected into our steel folder. And now when we get rid of this search, we can come back after using our drawing and we want to go and find a steel layer. You can simply click on the steel filter and now you've got all four layers in this drawing with steel in the name. So this is just one way to use uh, group filters. There are a bunch and I definitely encourage you to read up some more and check out a few more videos if you want to learn more about layers as well as grouping them. But that's it for today's video. Uh, I think I'm over two minutes, but I tried to be quick. Make sure you guys check out the article that goes along with this video. It includes a little bit more detail on the search functionality, uh, as well as you can check out my other articles on the AutoCAD blog. I'll put the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.